Hello everyone and welcome back to Psyched. Now, the human brain is quite amazing and it is able to engage in several cognitive processes simultaneously across multiple modalities, such as memory, attention and perception. Despite the complexity of our brain, however, we are unfortunately limited in our cognitive capacity, both in terms of the amount of information that is being processed at a given time, but also in terms of the speed with which these pieces of information can be processed. The cognitive capacity of our brain differs from person to person, and it will also change over time. As we get older, cognitive capacity may decline, which may be related to certain disorders. The question is, is there anything we can do to improve our cognitive capacity, or at least to reduce its deterioration? Now one tool that is seen a lot and is often promoted are various cognitive training methods aimed at improving cognitive function, so-called brain games. For example, you can find such trainings in the form of mobile applications. Now, These applications claim to be effective in training our brain and to increase the brain's flexibility, intelligence or cognitive function. But the question is, do these claims really hold water? Well, there has been a fair amount of research conducted on this topic over the last decades. In one study from 2021 conducted by Bonacher and colleagues, performance and processing speed on various cognitive tasks was analyzed in 12,000 adults aged between 60 and 80 years. All of them were users of a so-called brain training app or cognitive mobile game. These cognitive tasks ranged from testing arithmetic ability and working memory to visual attention and word processing. Importantly, this testing took place over a course of 100 sessions, which allowed them to see whether these apps are able to produce effects long term. What the authors of the study found is that the users of the app improved both their performance and processing speed on the tasks that they performed in the 100 sessions. Now, at first glance, this may point to the ability of such apps to indeed improve cognitive performance. However, right now we can only conclude that these specific tasks were improved. But the important question is, do these improvements on these specific tasks also translate to other tasks and performance in real life in general? Of course, these mobile applications will claim that such brain trainings translate to other functions as well. However, the scientific evidence for that is not convincing. While some research seems to suggest that the improvement in task performance may indeed somewhat transfer to other real-life cognitive functioning, most other research fails to support this claim. There are also some studies that argue that any potential benefit of brain training programs beyond the improvement on those specific tasks may exist, but only to cognitive functions that are operationally very similar to the game itself. So taken together, the scientific evidence suggests that these brain training games can be effective but how well they translate to other functions is unclear and the translational effects may not be as big as the apps claim that they are. However, despite this limited generalizability, these apps could still be useful for some groups of people, for example people with declining cognitive abilities. But there are also other ways of improving general cognitive ability. For example, several studies have shown that a good way to preserve cognitive function, especially at a higher age, is through physical exercise. Indeed, various studies have shown that a healthy lifestyle and cognitive functioning is correlated, and people who engage in regular physical activity have a lower risk of developing neurodegenerative disorders, such as Alzheimer. Another important factor in cognitive functioning that is often overlooked is social interaction. We as humans are a social species, and as such we have to take the thoughts of others into account while making our own decisions. Indeed, research suggests that social interaction with others, for example, cooperative interactions or simply small talk, is beneficial for the performance in some cognitive tasks. So, in summary, there are certainly ways to maintain or even slightly improve cognitive functioning, particularly when we get older. Brain training apps might be one way to do it, even though their translational value may be limited. But other things, like keeping a healthy lifestyle and remaining in a healthy social environment, are important as well. Well, that's it. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, we hope to see all of you beautiful people in the next video.